All right, what is up you guys and welcome back. So today we are out here in one of our favorite little crab holes and it's been a while since I've done a blue crab catch and cook. But y'all check that out right there. A nice little five and a half, six inch blue crab. Uh, we're gonna throw them in the cooler and try to catch some more guys. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're doing to catch them and then hopefully we'll see y'all at the house in just a little while. If we catch enough of these, we're gonna be doing a little catch and cook like I said. So stay tuned, let's get after it. So all we did, we got some chicken drumsticks right here. I'm pretty sure you can get like 15 of these things for around three bucks. So some chicken drumsticks, some mono line. You can use mono, you can use twine, whatever. This is just what I had at home. And then all we're doing is just throwing them out. I mean, y'all know how to crab. Toss them out, let them hit the bottom. And as you can see right here, you just wait for them to get tight. This one actually has one on it right now. These crabs are aggressive. So whenever they pull it, your line's gonna shoot out really tight. And a lot of times it'll happen really quick. And it looks like you're getting a bite from a fish, but it's just a crab. So. That's what we're doing. We're going to try to catch that one right here, tie this one up somewhere else, and like I keep saying, guys, we're just going to try to load up on some crabs here. All right, so behind me right here, we got Richard and Anthony out here with me. They're actually pulling out this crab right now, so I'm going to turn the camera around and let y'all see all this, but it's super sunny. Let's see. Did you get him? Uh, he's, oh, he's tiny. Oh, just a little one right there. Yeah. A little male, probably around, honestly, he's probably a keeper, probably around five inches, but no point in keeping one that small. All right, got another one here coming up to the top. Just about ready to get scooped up. All right, there's another one in the net right there. Another nice, definitely a five and a half, maybe another six inch blue crab right there. So we're gonna throw them in the box to see how many more we can get. All right, so this one just got extremely tight. We're gonna start pulling it in. And it's pulling back, oh, oh. This feels like a good one right here, guys. Definitely gonna be a keeper. He's swimming like crazy. Man, this is a good one. He's coming up way out there. <laughs> dude, this, is a, this one feels great. Oh, dude, that's a big crab. <gasps> All you want to do is just pull them in real slow. So they kind of don't even know that they're moving, I think. All right. And then just make sure you scoop it. Yeah, that's a big crab. Yes, sir. Man, that's a good one. Yeah. Holy cow. All right, there we go, guys. Another keeper crab. We're going to throw them in the cooler. Woo! All right, y'all check this out, guys. We're gonna measure this crab up from point to point. And this right here is a good, that's just over a seven inch crab. So that is a really big one right there. Huge claws on him. And uh, yeah, he's heavy, so that's gonna be a good eater. You ready? Oh, that, is, that is a good one. That's two of them. All right, so y'all check this out right here. This is actually two crabs, a male and a female. And I'm guessing that they're mating or doing their thing over here. I don't know, but that actually happens quite a bit whenever you pull up two. And we're just gonna go ahead and let both of them go while I'm doing their thing. All right, we got another one right here. Richard's pulling it up. We're gonna try to net it. He said it's pulling pretty hard, so hopefully it's a good one. And we actually have one on the uh, on the other line behind us that we're gonna get after this. All right, he's almost up, guys. Dude. It's a big one in the little female, so we're gonna keep the big one and let the little female go. So while we were catching the other one, this one was really tight, way up under the dock, and then it went slack. So I came over here, and the dang thing cut our chicken. So now we really have to catch them. So we're gonna put on another piece of chicken and catch this one, because it's probably a monster. All right, guys, so we have like six or seven crabs in the cooler right now. We're trying to get around eight or nine. We're not trying to wipe them out today. Just catch a few so we can take home and taste them, because it's been a while since we've had some blue crab. But we have one right here that we're gonna catch. This might be the last one, because the light's fading, so it's gonna get dark. So we're gonna try to catch this guy, and then we'll see y'all back at the house. All right, we got one right here. Anthony says it feels pretty big, so let's find out. Ooh. All right, Anthony lied to us. It is not pretty big. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Let's go. Another nice crowd for the bucket. All right, guys, there's another big one. Really lit up. Look at the colors on this guy. Oh, he's squirting water at us. Wow, guys, look how colorful that crab is. We're going to throw him in the box, and I think that's going to be the last one for the night. All 
All right, guys, it's dark outside, as y'all can tell, and we are back at the house right now, and I think we ended up with about seven crabs, and we have them on ice right here, so they're going to sleep right now. I'm gonna clean some up, but you can clean them up before or after you cook them. A lot of people just cook them whole like this, and uh, I just prefer to clean mine up before because I think it makes it a lot easier to just go ahead and do this, and then just to blow them out with the water hose and rip the lungs off before you cook them. So then it's just a lot cleaner, and you don't have to worry about all that after they're cooked. Also, we're gonna be steaming these, not boiling these, so I'm gonna take them right here, and all you do is take your napkin or a rag. You don't even have to have a rag. I just use it so I don't get stabbed by all this because it's super sharp. Hold onto your crab by all the legs. Go up under the top of the shell and just pull up. It's kind of hard, but there he is. The top's pulled off. Then we just take our rag, rip off the face right here, and then rip out all the gills. These are the gills right here. And we're going to show you all close up of this so you all can see exactly how it's done. Then just take a water hose and blow it out, and that's a perfectly clean crab. All right, so guys, same thing on this. Also to note, you can pull off the uh, apron if you want to. I think we'll do that on this one. Pull and rip off the apron. And then we're just gonna do the same thing. So I like to grab him by all of his legs right here. It gives you a good handle. Go up under the top shell and just pull up. And it is kind of tough to pull up on them, but once you get it, they come off pretty easy. So up, then these are the gills right here. You do not want these. So you just take them, rip them off the gills or the lungs, whatever. And then we just grab the hose. After we break off the face, grab and twist. And you're just gonna squirt all the way through here. And I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so next step, we just take our crabs, take our hose, and just squirt it out from the back to the front. And that's going to give you a perfectly cleaned out crab, just like that. We're going to repeat that on all the rest of them, and then we'll see all inside to cook these up. All right, we're in the kitchen now. We got all of our crabs cleaned up. We're going to start laying them in the pot. So all I have in here is just a little bit of water, and I don't have a steam rack, but like I said, we are steaming the crabs. So I just put about this much water in there, a little bit of vinegar, and then some crab and shrimp boil seasoning. So now we're going to start laying these in because it is already steaming. So we're going to go in. We're going to start stacking them up, and about every three or four, then we're going to sprinkle some seasoning on top of them, too. All right, so while that crab's cooking, we're just going to go ahead and make a little bit of garlic butter here. So we have our about a stick of butter melted down, press some garlic in it. And get this nice and stirred up, and then we're gonna give y'all a sneak peek of the uh, crab. Let me just get this garlic pressed through. Ugh. How it goes. Mix that around, put it back over the heat. And now y'all check this out. They're almost done, they have about five minutes left. But they're looking great. Put them back up, and we'll see y'all in, like I said, five minutes to try them out. All right, we are done here, so we're gonna go ahead and take these out. And they look good. So we got our tongs, and start pulling them out. And now right there's a perfectly steamed crab. Go ahead and take the rest of our guys and then we're gonna try them. Everyone knows how crab tastes, but we're gonna tell you all anyway, just rub it in. All right, we're gonna try out the crab right here. I got a pretty big lump of claw meat right there. Dip it in the garlic butter. Richard's gonna try it out too, let you know what he thinks. But I mean, y'all already know how crab tastes. Yeah, tastes like crab, really good. It is pretty spicy from all the stuff on top of it. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty spicy. I think we went a little heavy on the spice, but I think it's pretty good. Yo, by the way, shout out Nana. You heard Love it here. You. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for clicking on the video. If you're new here and you liked it and you want to see more just like it, maybe go and consider hitting that subscribe button and also hit, a, hit the like button on the video and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like eating blue crab because I know everyone here sure does. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, guys. Peace.